crisis revolves around two men, Giuseppe Conte and former Prime Minister Matteo Renzi. There have been tensions between them for months. Renzi, who leads the smallest party in the coalition, has criticised Conte's handling of the pandemic and last week made good on his regular threats to withdraw his Italia Viva party from the government. The move to bring down the coalition came at an opportune moment when Italy's government was looking to approve how to spend the EU recovery fund. More than $250 billion of grants and loans to rescue the economy which has been battered by the pandemic. That plan involved Conte taking charge of how the money was spent. The plan was approved by the cabinet. Italia Viva's two ministers resigned the following day. It's a move to oust Conte, a long-term rival of Renzi's for the centre ground of Italian politics. Conte's popularity has suffered since the summer. People are critical about the lack of help for small business that hasn't gone far enough. And there have been protests from teenagers and parents across the country because of the closure of high schools during the pandemic. But Renzi and Italia Viva's popularity is also low. They're polling about 2 to 3% of the vote and Renzi has been widely mocked. He's often bottom of the list of Italy's most popular politicians. Many Italians see this political crisis as another sideshow, which has eroded public trust in politicians further. An opinion poll from a major Italian newspaper said that 46% of Italians didn't understand the reasons behind the latest crisis. Italy is facing its worst health crisis since the Second World War. The economy is in trouble. Its healthcare system is regionalised, so a national political crisis shouldn't have too much of an effect. Its COVID vaccination plan is underway and it's so far vaccinated more people than anywhere else in the EU. The problems that could arise though would be if there is no stable parliamentary majority. This could severely disrupt the proposal and approval of new legislation. The reality is it's unclear how a political crisis would affect the response to the pandemic. <laughs>